Now, if you think this looks like half an airplane, well, you'd be right. But it's also an expensive restoration project in the making. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Anglosano with another Aviation Tip of the Month. And this time we're talking about aircraft economics. It's a topic that folks hit me with every day of the week as they search the used aircraft market looking for a good deal. Well, forget about everything you learned in College Economics 101, because it doesn't apply to used aircraft. Well, here's why. So here we are going into spring 2011, good time to buy an airplane, and I use this aircraft as a prime example. It's a 1979 Piper Archer, it's got a run out engine, it needs avionics, paint and interior are okay, and with a good eye you can find one on a used market for about forty-five to fifty thousand dollars, and that's a good deal. Now let's step through the upgrade process to see what this aircraft is really going to cost by the time you're said and done. Let's talk about the engine first. The Archer has a Lycoming O360. It's got a 2,000 hour TBO and the original engine on this aircraft was well over 2,000 hours, essentially run out. The replacement is a Lycoming factory overhaul exchange for about $20,000. Now that $20,000 doesn't include labor, accessories, or any propeller work that may be needed. Now, like anything else, not all engine changes are created equally, and it's considered a firewall forward, replacement hoses and accessories. It was accomplished by Total Aircraft Maintenance in Hartford, Connecticut, and as you can see, it's got replacement engine mounts that have been powder coated. Now, you'll pay for this attention to detail, but it's clearly a first class job. Now while the airplane's down for engine change and avionics upgrade, it's also a good time to accomplish an annual inspection. Now a lot of airplanes on a used market are going to be advertised as having a fresh annual. Now you're going to want to have a professional have a look at the results of that annual because again, not all are created equally and on a 30 something year old airplane that you don't have any history with, you want to be thorough. Now on a side note, it's in your best interest to hire professionals that will be an active part of your used aircraft search. Because as airplanes become more complex, obviously the stakes are higher and you can lose a lot of money if you aren't careful. Now here's everyone's favorite part of the restoration process, it's the avionics upgrades. Now here's where the economics can get confusing and questionable. This avionics package is a basic modern standard for IFR flying. It's got good audio, a Garmin 430W WAS navigator, good second navcom, a TIS traffic transponder, 406 megahertz emergency locator beacon, and an STEC 30 dual axis autopilot. This package is a whopping $45,000 installed. 15,000 of that is autopilot. There's no fancy metal panel work. In fact, it retains that old-fashioned 1970s Royalite plastic. So now that the dust is settled and the check is cleared, you're into this Archer for about $130,000, including the $45,000 buy-in price to the original airframe. Now, that doesn't include a new paint job. Now, Blue Book value suggests a retail price of about $60,000 on this airplane. Well, so where are we going with this? Okay, we know airplanes are expensive. We know upgrades are expensive, too. And if you can accept the fact that the airplane is way overpriced, well, that's okay. Just realize that $130,000 can buy you a Cessna 210. And for new pilots that may step up to a bigger airplane in another year or so, they're going to lose a lot of money. Okay, so understanding that that initial $130,000 investment you made in that old Archer can buy you a higher performance airplane like this Cessna 210, you'll need to realize that the operating cost of a 210 just won't come close to that of a smaller Archer. So what we're getting at is you need to make sure that you nail that mission profile right from the start. If you think you may have a need to travel long distances, higher speeds, in all kinds of weather, well then an airplane like a 210 is probably going to make more sense for you. But if you're looking for a reasonably inexpensive airplane to own and operate, we think the Archer makes sense too. The only caveat being that that's lower end of the airplane market, it's easier to get upside down from an economic standpoint. Of course, your best option yet may be to try to find an airplane that someone else is over-equipped, and we'll cover that topic in a future video. But here's a primer, a 40-something-year-old Cessna 182. It's got a Texas Skyways 550 conversion, three-bladed Scimitar prop. It's got TKS ice protection, over $110,000 worth of avionics, nice paint, nice interior. 
Well, you get the idea, and we'll let you do the scary math on this one. With your Aviation Tip in a Month, I'm Larry Anglosano, and thanks for watching.